we are here facing you know the promised land over there the view is a bit hazy we cannot see you know almost nothing except the reflection of the dead sea water so we can see the dead sea just down there tomorrow morning from the dead sea from your hotel we can see especially in the morning a better view more clear because usually in the morning before the noon time it's more clear than the afternoon because of the sun so but in clear days we can see clearly jericho just opposite to mount nabu here it's like 27 kilometers we are talking about less than 20 miles away from here the river jordan just north of the dead sea and the dead sea over there we can see the mountains mountains of jerusalem and bethlehem and ramallah we can see that clearly but farther than the mountains we cannot see so that's why moses got like a supervision like it was like a miracle god wants him to see as far as the western sea we are talking about the mediterranean sea which is almost 75 kilometers away like 50 miles away from here. so if you look now there we can see this monument this symbolic monument actually was added to this and the artist who did this monument is an italian artist he got the design or the idea of this design from the verse in the Gospel of John 3.14 As Moses lifted the bronze serpent in the wilderness, the Son of Man will be lifted on the cross. So in the Genesis, in the book of Genesis, the snake was a symbol of devil. Then later on, the snake became a symbol of healing. That's in the Old Testament. What's happened in the New Testament? In the New Testament, the snake is Jesus who died on the cross for us. So the people in the Old Testament, they were saved by that snake who became the symbol of healing. And we were saved by Jesus when he died on the cross. And this is what we see in the New Testament. So that's why this kind of, you know, symbolic monument became now the symbol of healing for all the medical sectors all over the world all the pharmacies, all the doctors, all the, you know, uh, factories, they are using this sample for the medicines and for their clinics and for the hospitals. So this is what we see here. Now, inside the church, we have a complex actually of five churches were built in different periods. As I mentioned, Mount Nebo was considered like a pilgrimage station for all the pilgrims who used to come to visit the Holy Land and they used to come to Livias or to Bethany beyond the Jordan. Then they used to take the Roman road to go to the city of Eshpon over there. And the minute they reached the sixth Roman milestone, they turned to the right, to the top of Pisgah, where we are now. So the first and the earliest pilgrims mentioned a small chapel with the clergy seats and three apses. And there was a memorial tomb, empty tomb was built here as a memorial tomb for Moses who died here, but nobody knows his grave. During the fourth century and the fifth century, when Christianity became the official religion for the east part of the Roman Empire, the nave was added and the two parts together, the new nave and the old chapel became one basilica church. Then during the sixth century, it was the golden age of Christianity here. They added the baptistry to the left side of the church. The baptistry was designed to be one meter lower than the basilica level. Why? Because we have like three steps. The three steps representing the three days Jesus spent in the tomb. So when you get baptized, what does it mean? You die and you born again in faith. So this is the meaning of the baptism. And the artists actually of Madaba decided to decorate that baptistry with very beautiful mosaic. And that mosaic is considered now the most preserved mosaic in Jordan because it was covered for more than 1500 years. That mosaic was trying to explain the importance of baptism for Christians by showing two different kinds of images. 
The upper part, the upper half of the mosaic was showing some hunting scenes. The hunting scenes representing the life we are living with all the problems we are facing in our life before receiving faith and representing the life before receiving faith. The lower part, it shows some pastoral scenes. And the most important, there are three persons. One local shepherd sitting on a rock and watching his animals. And there are two also travelers. One of them from Africa with black skin and African dress and the other one with Persian dress. So the lower part, it, the, the pastoral scenes representing the life after receiving faith. When you receive faith, you feel the spiritual peace inside your you know, body, inside your mind. And this is, you know, what he was trying to show, that the people accepting each other, three persons from three different nationalities, three different origins, staying in the same place. That's why he was showing the local shepherd, the one from Africa, the one from Persia. That means we are all, you know, brothers and sisters in God. It doesn't matter what's your color, what's your language, what's your nationality, from where you are. At the end of the day, we are brothers and sisters in God. And this is the meaning of, you know, the, the baptism or that mosaic. Now, during the seventh century, when Islam spread all over, the Muslims don't use any kind of icons or figures. So what's happened? The monks in Mount Nebo decided to cover that mosaic as not to be destroyed because it has the figures. So since we have one meter difference in the level, they fill this one meter with sand and stones and covered the lower, the original mosaic, and they built on the top at the same level of the basilica, a new mosaic with geometric designs. So when the Franciscan brothers came here, 1930, and they start the excavations, they didn't see and they didn't know that there is a lower mosaic. So they were working just on the top. And when they started to rebuild the church, they need to dig to build the foundations. They were digging and suddenly they found a lower mosaic was covered. So they removed the upper mosaic and they removed all the sand and the stones and they found the original mosaic in its original place in very good conditions. Nothing happened even during the earthquakes. The whole site was badly destroyed by the earthquake of the Dead Sea, but nothing happened to that mosaic. And the most interesting thing in that mosaic that we have, you know, Greek inscriptions on the top and down mention the date of the mosaic, 531 AD. Mm. The, the names of the Bishop of Madaba and the artist who built the mosaic, they were both from Madaba. And the people who donate the money to support, to finance that, you know, uh, mosaic. So this is what I want you to see when you go inside, just go to the left, go up the stairs and have a look at the original mosaic, which was covered for like 1500 years. And after that, we will go have a look at the mosaic and at the church. Then we will go back the same way we came to the main entrance. The bus will be in the parking lot and 